tell me about your time on fame. Like, what was it like? Oh, well, it, I mean, my God, that was life-changing for me. You know, of all the shows I could have done in my life. I mean, well, I always say that there are certain roles that meet you where you are in your life yeah. at the same time. Yeah. And those are really extraordinary experiences, and fame was one of them. Yeah, because you know it was all about the high school of performing arts and people wanting to get into the industry and acting, singing, dance, like all of it. And that's what I did. And so when I auditioned for that, it was that was a crazy audition because we stood in line at MGM, what used to be MGM Studios, it's now Sony, and just wrapped all the way around and you're looking down and you can see all these people that you're competing with and you're looking up and you walk into the room and it really was like the movie wow. where they were sitting, you know, you had Debbie there right. and you had someone on the piano and you had all the other executives sitting there and it's like they're tapping, waiting for something and you're in this rehearsal hall A, which uh -huh. is a famous rehearsal hall from all the MGM musicals. Yeah. And uh, in fact, I ran into Gene Kelly there. Damn. Well, I, I know. While I was shooting, it was really nice, really amazing. I love Gene Kelly. Unbelievable. Singing in the rain. Yeah. My favorite, favorite, favorite. Yeah, it was a dream come true for me at that at that time. Well, to see that it was heady, super heady audition. Yeah. A lot of people involved. So did did they? Did you know up front, or did they start cutting people down, cutting people down, cutting? People I don't down? know. You know, we don't know anything. You don't know, all, you, all I knew was that they were going from L.A. to Chicago to Miami to New York. They were going around auditioning all these different people. Right. And you're literally standing in line with your black and white 8 by 10 and your resume that I lied about. <laughs> I was like, oh, what are you? I didn't really lie. I just took little truths and made them, I expanded them. Yeah. It's, like, it's like baking bread. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I remember walking in and having to read with with someone, uh -huh. and then Debbie, you know, and then I had to sing, and then Debbie had to take me through the steps. And before she took me through the steps, they said, "Are you a dancer?" And I said, "No," because a dancer to me was someone who dedicated six hours a day of their lives, six days a week, and I was a hula dancer. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a beautiful thing, and it, and it really has taught me a lot. And it was a great foundation, but I never took ballet. I never had any of that stuff. So I said, no, 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 no. And then she made me dance, and they all started laughing. And they laughed, and I just went, oh, I guess I didn't go very well. Um, and what I found out later was they laughed because I said I wasn't a dancer, and I did really well. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, but it took. I think it was. If a that would have happened to me. It would have been because I was terrible. <laughs> it would have been loud. But they would have cast you as the comedian. Yeah, that could have been. The, <laughs> That's what. But I'm a been. dancer. Yeah, sure you are, kid. Yeah. You got the call. You get the call, and they say, "You got the role," and. Like, what did what, what, you do first? Like, did yeah, you... <laughs> Are you kidding? No, just scr I was living at home. Wow, nice. And then you're off to New York. Mm -hmm. And that fat paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was fat. For uh, me, it was fat. Uh, I mean, compared to today, it's not. But... Well, don't, hey, don't take us out of the moment. Don't <laughs> Make it less. No, we're we're back in the day right now yeah. with you. That's... I really knew nothing. I mean, I had done the little music shop thing, and that was like a tape thing. Right. But we shot on film. We right. were flying to New York. We, you know, you know how it was back in the day. You're flying first class. I there don't know how it was up. back in the day. <laughs> back at in... all, man. Yeah. I have no idea. I I mean, I I've heard all the good stories and yeah. everything. It definitely ain't what's happening now. No, you know? I know. Yeah. 70 bucks and the uh, Greyhound bus ticket. Here you go. And yeah. then you wonder why. I mean, I, I was making records and promoting them and performing when I was in the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. And the money was outrageous. That, was, a, that was the new generation. It was all about like uh, money, money and coke. Yeah, you know something? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I... 
I'm, I was a super goody two shoes. I had zero. I know because desire. I asked you. I've asked you a mil, I've asked you this question a million different times, a million different ways to try to see if your answer would ever change, and it never does. I try to find out what partying you were doing in the '80s when all that is going on, when you had access to <laughs> everything, and you're like, I just work. I love the work. work. I just look, I just went to work and work. Like that's all. Come on, tell me about a party. No, well, I don't know. There was a birthday party I went to. Delicious cake, but I was home by six and bed by seven. It's like what? No. You know, I'm, I would have been a mess of me. I'm a mess right now. There's nothing going on. <laughs> I Man, in the '80s, would have killed me. You killed a lot of people. Yeah, I never even saw cocaine, and it was everywhere. But you know, when you don't do it, you you don't know what's happening. You're like, you got a cold? Here, here's a tissue. Yeah, I'm like that. You know, but I mean, you don't. It's like you don't you, because you don't get it, and it goes right over your head. It keeps you from offending people who are doing it. Wait, how do you offend somebody doing? It's oh. Like if they're if they're doing it, and you they're like, them, hey yo, and they're trying to bring uh, you in, and, and you go, no man, I don't do any of that. But it just goes right over your head. That's how it was for me. People ask me a lot of times, how did you get out of Hollywood without or get through it? without, you know, with all the men that were coming at you. Yeah. And the casting couch and all of that. But they don't come right up to you and say, hey, if you do this, I'll do that. There's, it's like a slow ride there. Well, I guess that's your experience. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, all the kind of innuendos and the little hints, I, they went right over my head. And so I didn't offend anybody. We're gonna take a break real quick. I'm have, I'm, I'm so I, I I'm so I, in I, conversation I, I, with I, you. I, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, we'll be right back with uh, peoples, everybody. Yeah. 